In this AutoCAD tutorial, I would like to introduce the idea of using a NURBS surface in AutoCAD as opposed to something like an extruded surface that we've been using so far. So if you have created a surface through um, something like a spline and an extrusion like we have been doing, um, you might get something that looks like this. So the spline was drawn in the right orthographic view over in this viewport. And then it was created with a simple extrusion. So we get something that looks like this. If I hover over um, the surface, you'll see that was, well, it isn't a surface, and it was created with an extrusion. You know, if you want to, you know, tweak this or change it, it's very difficult to do that. Uh, you know, if I click on this, you don't get a lot of editing possibilities. Um, we can, of course, add sweeps and do blends and that type of thing. Um, but it's somewhat static. Well, if we had either created this as a nerve surface or decide to convert it to one now, we're going to have some different options. So when you're actually um, creating a surface, you can actually check nerves creation so that it automatically comes in this way. But if you haven't done that so far, you have the ability to select a surface and then come up and convert to a nerve surface. You can do this with a solid or a mesh as well. So I'm just going to check that, and it will have converted this entire object. Now if I hover over it, it no long, longer says surface extrusion, it says surface nerves. Now it doesn't really look any different at this point, but if I go up to show CV, the control vertices, and click on it, hit enter, you'll see that now the control vertices that are associated with this initial spline are now active. Okay, so that will give us the ability to do some basic editing. I can either do that from the 3D view or the 2D view. So we have some different options. If I actually, uh, you know, come in, click on one of these control vertices, and then pull it, you can see that I am pulling the one closest to that the most. And then the farther away we get, the less it changes until the last one. So if I do that again, I can be pulling and moving these. And you'll see that change reflected over here on the left. So that it's being pulled the most, then a little less, a little less, and so on with both of these. So it's no longer this you know, perfectly even shape. We can be pulling those out and up and in any direction. So you're able to start getting something that's much, you know, more organic and more interesting this way. Um, you know, and that's going to be, a, you know, a whole lot more, uh, you know, creative and free form than we've been doing otherwise.